Hello, everyone. This is Selena with Selena Thinking Out Loud, bringing you another story time with God on this beautiful Sunday. I hope this message that we're both going to learn today find you in good health, good spirits, and that you're just ready to go out for your day and do what God has for you to do in his will and in his way. So if you have your daily devotional, Jesus Calling by Sarah Young, you can open it up with me. Also, make sure you bring along your Bible or your Bible app because we're going to be reading a couple of scriptures today. All right, let's go ahead and open to July 2nd of 2017. And let's see what God has for us to learn today. And it reads, let me show you my way for this day. I guide you continually so you can relax and enjoy my presence in the present. Living well is both a discipline and an art. Concentrate on staying close to me, the divine artist. Discipline your thoughts to trust me as I work my ways in your life. Pray about everything, then leave outcomes up to me. Do not fear my will, for through it I accomplish what is best for you. Take a deep breath and dive into the depths of absolute trust in me. Underneath are the everlasting arms. Now, before we get started really diving deep into the daily devotional message for today, I want you to close your eyes and I want you to take a deep breath in through your nose and then release it through your mouth. Once more, take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. And I want you to keep your eyes closed right now and I want you to be conscious of your body, specifically focusing on the heart region. Because for me, I find that when I'm really in study with God, I can really feel God really taking time to be with me. And so I want you to visualize your past week. And I want you to think about one thing that may have been resolved or one thing that still has not been resolved, but you really want it to be resolved. I want you to think about that, pinpoint that right now. Now that you have it, I want you to take it and I want you to breathe it into your nose the thought of it, and then exhale it out. And I want you to release it to God. I want you to give that over to God because God knows how to resolve that issue. God knows the resources you need, whether it be financial, whether it be a healing, whether it be help from outside source. He knows what you need to resolve this issue. But all he needs for all of us to do is give over that thing that we've been stressing over this past week, give it to him and release it. Now I want you to take another deep breath in and out through your mouth, exhale. Now you can open your eyes and we're gonna go right into this daily devotional message here. And this is just gonna piggyback off of what he says at the top here. He says, let me show you, okay, Selena, let me show you. Whenever I read these daily devotionals, I always put you, I always put my name there because it's very, it's more personable when you put your name in place of the you's um, when you're reading, especially I find that when I read this daily devotional. And so if you're watching this video or you have your daily devotional, Jesus Calling, replace the you's in here with your name and you'll feel a different sensation. See if you feel a different sensation and let me know um, in the comments below. But it says here, let me show you my way for this day, this day. And so he wants us right there to live in the present moment, not tomorrow, not yesterday, not five, 10 years from now. He's saying he wants us to let him show us the way for this day, because if he can get us to get in a habit of letting him show us the way in this day that we're living in the present, then he knows tomorrow we'll do it again and we'll strive to do it again. And then the next day and the next day after, because we're so programmed as humans to always have a plan, always have a plan for your next five years or next 10 years. Or what do you want to do when you get out of high school? What do you want to do when you get out of college? Oh, you didn't go to college. Maybe you went into the military. So what are you going to do when you retire at the military? Or What are you going to do now that you have kids, you have a wife, or you have a husband? What are you going to do now to reinvent yourself? Oh, now you're on, you're close to retirement or you have retired. So what are you going to do now? And so we get in so much into the plan that we forget that we have, that's on our physical plane, but we forget that we have a spiritual plane 
that God runs for us. And when we come to him, when we give him that quality time with him, he then leads us in how to live our life on the physical plane. And so that's why he starts off with, let him show us the way for this day. And he says he will guide us continually. So chill out, Selena. Chill out, you. I got you. Chill out and relax and enjoy my presence in the present. And he says, living well is both a discipline and an art. You're dressing yourself in your clothes. You're styling your hair. You know, you may wear glasses or not. You may wear contacts. You have blue eyes. You have brown eyes. You have green eyes. We are a form of art in ourselves. When we interact with others from different cultures and we have our own culture, that's another form of art. And he says, you must concentrate on staying close to him, the divine artist. Like I said, we have the spiritual realm, but also we have the spirit, the, we have the spiritual realm, but we also have the physical realm. But on the spiritual realm, realm, God wants to be the artist for our souls, which is going to lead us outwardly to be an example and a representation of him as we go about our, our day, each and every day. And he says, pray about everything. You know, if you're going to make financial decisions, if you're going to, before you go into a surgery, when you wake up in the morning, your eyes open so that we can be examples of him in the body of Christ. And he says, do not fear my will. You know, sometimes, you know, that's one thing I think when you're getting to know God, you sometimes fear. I know for me, as I was getting to know God, I was sometimes fearful of the fact when he says, I will direct your path. I know it's best for you. You know, something you may not, you may want. I may not think it's best for you. And I would be like, oh, I don't, I, I, but I want that. Or I want to accomplish that. Or I want to buy that. Or I want to get that. And so sometimes I would find myself in a, in a state where I would be fearful to, to really give it over to God and say, okay, God, you know, your, let your will be done. You know, we can say it, but it's, it isn't until you're in a situation where you really want something so bad, but God is totally not showing up. He's saying he's not giving it to you because either you're not ready for it. It's not the right time. You're not in the right state of mind. You don't have all the knowledge you need or skill set, or it's just not right for you. It's going to take you down a deep, dark path that you don't need to be on. And so God says, no. So he says, do not fear my will, even though it's, it seems fearful because you're like, gosh, I really want that. But God is not coming through. Why is this not happening for me? But God says, do not fear because he, gets our, he has our back and he knows what's coming. And so he's just protecting us from ourselves. Do not fear my will, for through it, I accomplish what is best for you. Dive into the depths of absolute trust in me. And I love this. It says, because underneath, there are everlasting arms. And when you hear it, can you see the visual of that? So there's two verses here that God has led Sarah to share with us today. And the first one is Psalm Chapter 5, verse 2 through 3, and it reads, Listen to my cry for help, my King and my God, for to you I pray. In the morning, O Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning I lay my request before you and wait in expectation. And the second verse that we're going to get to is Deuteronomy, chapter 33, verse 27, and it reads, The eternal God is your refuge. And underneath are the everlasting arms. He will drive out your enemy before you, saying, Destroy him. So I want to thank you so much for joining me for another story time with God as we learned more and more about living in the present moment, this present day with God. I hope that was a blessing to you as much as it was for me. Every story time Sunday I do, gosh, God is speaking to me as much as he is speaking to you. And so I find that so refreshing and a blessing as well. So if you enjoyed this story time Sunday as well, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to my YouTube channel for more product reviews, giveaways, and of course, Storytime Sundays. So I'm wishing you an amazing week ahead. God bless.